This video will be covering concepts that you learned in the Milky Way and the Explore the Solar System Lab. Our solar system is located in the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy is one of the billions of galaxies in our universe and contains millions of stars, dust particles, and gas that create celestial bodies such as planets and moons. Scientists believe that clouds of gas and dust were disturbed by the explosion of a nearby star called a supernova. Gravity then pulled the particles together forming a solar nebula. Our solar system had started its formation with a newborn star. After millions of years while the small clumps of dust drifted around the star, gravitational pull from the star and the particles themselves started to form stellar bodies. Billions of years later, these bodies became planets in our solar system orbiting around the Sun. Our solar system consists of the Sun, inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, an asteroid belt, and outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. The inner planets have similar properties. They are mostly composed of rocks and metal because they are closer to the Sun. They have smaller orbit paths and higher surface temperatures. They are smaller in diameter and they are terrestrial. The outer planets also have similar properties as well. They are mostly composed of gases. Because they are further from the Sun, they have larger orbital paths and lower surface temperature. They are larger in diameter and each have more than one moon, some with as much as 66. Now that you've learned about the Milky Way and our solar system, let's go over a few content statements. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is one of billions of galaxies in our universe and has millions of stars, dust particles, and gas that create celestial bodies such as planets and moons. The Milky Way galaxy took billions of years to form through gravity and still contains gas and dust from its birth. The planets of the solar system, while varied, share some common features with each other. Some are formed from solid rock, while others are entirely gaseous. Their chemical compositions vary, and their orbital periods are directly proportional to their distance from the Sun. The planets of the solar system can be classified according to their size, composition, and other features. Thank you for watching. Take a moment to compare the characteristics of each planet and see what other similarities and differences you can find.